like so many things went right for the Rangers in this series. Uh, it strikes me, and this is right in your world here, their catching core, right? Neither one of these guys drafted or developed by the Rangers. They acquired Jonah Heim in kind of a whatever deal with Oakland a few years ago. They signed Mitch Garver. He was hurt, missed some time. They were splendid in this series. Yeah, and throughout this whole season, both guys missed a little bit of time, but I mean, nobody has talked about what uh, kind of a catching duel that these guys had over the course of the whole season. In this in this series, in this postseason mainly, these two guys, when those guys like Corey Seager and Marcus Simeon were scuffling a little bit, they helped lengthen that lineup and started driving in some big runs. And over the course of in this series here, we see here, base hit, another RBI. These guys, I think, they were 22 of 83 over the course of this whole postseason which is a 265, 322, 434 line, right? All right, they had a couple of doubles, four homers between them. And the biggest thing for me, though, is the 17 RBIs. Those tack-on runs wow. were huge. Between these two guys, getting those big hits to be able to not only get them on the board, but also tack on those runs to help give a little breathing room to that pitching staff. Another thing I wanted to talk about, now Garver's been DHing for him because Jonah's is, you know, the better catcher behind the plate. He's, been, he's caught every single game. And going into this postseason, that's what everybody talked about. Rangers pitching staff, Rangers pitching staff, the weakness, the weakness. Well, he's been able to handle this staff and get them through and manage and navigate these games against what everyone thought that the, a great Houston Astros team going in their seventh ALCS. So, I mean, these two guys, I think, were a big reason why. Obviously, this lineup is so dangerous. It's so long. It's, it, it, it's lengthy. And there is no easy out here. Um, and not to mention, big reason why they were they're at right now going into the World Series, these two guys. You know what it reminded me of when you were talking about Jonas caught all the games? It reminds me of Buster Posey. Mm -hmm. You know, Bruce Bochy rode Buster. And there is something special about Boach having been a former catcher. And if you want to look at the back of the baseball card, you won't be impressed. But if you look at the years, the experience, all the other things he's been through, It'll blow you away. No, he get he gets what, what what's important about having a guy back there. Yeah. Um, that pitchers trust and you know that they can communicate well with. It's uh, I mean you look at all the playoff teams. They have a guy back there that that is yeah. legit. Whether uh, sometimes both sides of the ball, but for sure on the defensive side and as far as calling. Uh, I'm just fascinated with Chris Young, the GM, and Bruce Bochy, a former catcher and a former major league pitcher. Their conversations yeah. that they have over Bochy's wine, I'm sure. <laughs> and then they pass on through being able to read all the different notes they get. And they sit with the catchers. I I'm telling you, it it's fascinating what they've been able to do because this pitching was not supposed to stand up with the injuries they sustained. Right. Right. They weren't true. supposed to be here. It's true.